Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, give ourselves the ability to set particular users um, to be admins or not. So um, this is relatively straightforward with the way that we've already got this system set up. So it's not going to take long to do at all. And essentially, we're just going to put a flag next to a user's account to let us know if they're an admin. But we're also going to make this so in the future we can maybe add different user types. So you might have, you know, some kind of moderator or admin or you know different levels of um, of uh, ability to do things. So the first step to do is is add a field in our database table, um, in our users database table, that uh, essentially um, feeds back. Um, uh, the the user type so by default this will be zero um, and then perhaps an admin will be one and then something else will be two so let's go ahead and uh, modify our database table so I'm on the structure tab here let's go ahead and add one column at the end of this table uh, and I'm going to go ahead and call this type now I'm going to keep it as an int and I'm going to set the length to one uh, I'm also going to set the default uh, the default value to zero. So let's go ahead and save that and let's see how that looks in our with our two users that we already have registered. Uh, we've got type set to zero. Perfect. So um, at the moment both of these users are just normal users blah blah blah. So now let's go ahead and create a page that we want to only allow an admin to access which will be a user of type one. So uh, let's go ahead and open up um, uh, let's say contact.php. Let's go ahead and copy the uh, contents of this and save it as admin.php. So we can use the, well, this is obviously just our, our sort of base um, template. Let's go ahead and change some of the details here. Okay, so this is our admin page. Now, at the moment, it's obviously accessible by everyone. So here, what we want is we first of all want the user to be logged in. That's easy. All we do is we add protect page here. So when I refresh, sorry, you need to be logged in to do that. Now we log in. Um, now, when I go ahead and access admin now, it lets me, but I am not an admin. I am of user type zero. Now, how can we quickly and easily grab this user type from our user and determine which type of user they are? Well, in init.php, we have this user data function, which we've already seen uh, a fair few times. And we can just add fields of data that we want to retrieve. So if I say retrieve type, this will then retrieve the type. So if we just go down here somewhere and just echo user data type then this will just output a, a zero at the top here and then when we change that that will be reflected uh, here and it will change to a one so what do we need to do now well let's go over to general.php uh, we've got this logged in redirect function and protect page we're already using protect page which is good but now we want another function to um, kick a user away from a page if they're not an admin okay so I'm gonna say function admin underscore protect so this is pretty much going to come after protect page because we want to be able to be logged in to obviously be an admin so we're going to use protect page and underneath this we're going to call this admin um, admin protect I suppose it would have been best to call it protect admin but I think admin protect sounds better so here what we do is we say if now we don't need to check the user's logged in because we're already using protect page. We want to say user data type is equal to zero. Well, what do we want to do? Well, we want to kick them away from this page. So I'm just going to um, send them to index.php and then just exit there. So when I click on this now, uh, undefined variable user data. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, that's because we don't have the user data um, variable, um, basically global, so it can be used within this function. So we can just use global user data here. So now I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Um, now this is an interesting problem. 
um, what's happening here? Well, we would assume this to be correct because we are accessing the data type, uh, the user data type that does equal zero. So why isn't it redirecting us to index.php? Well, the reason being is that I'm using a um, a type comparison here as well, and this in actual this is a this is an, an integer. If I was to do that, that would be fine because we're grabbing data from our database. It's returning it as a string, so I just need a double equals here. So I'm not checking type as well. Okay, so now I'm going to click on that again, and it's redirected us to index.php. So it's not letting us access admin.php, which is good. Um, however, let's go ahead and change our rights to this. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this record, and I'm going to change type to 1. Now, you may want to be careful here, because if you want, say, type 1, 2, and type 3, you obviously don't want to say, if it equals 0, you know, redirect. You might want to have some kind of switch and determine where to what to do with the user. Depending, there's you know, there's loads of different ways we can do this, but it's all about flexibility, really. So I've changed my uh, de uh, user type. I'm now going to try and access admin, and uh, it's worked. So I've accessed admin.php because I have an, a user ID or a user type of one. So we can obviously do this in page as well. So for example, on the home page, uh, we could go ahead and let's just open that first of all, index. So we could say um, if user data type is equal to one, echo admin, for example. And there we go. Uh, and then when I go ahead and remove that, that won't be displayed anymore. Now, this is all well and good, um, but we have to make this check every single time. Now, what happens if we change a database table, a database field, or, or something like that, you know, um, or we change different uh, access codes around? It would be a lot better um, to create functions based on your different levels. So, for example, uh, let's go ahead and close this um, and um, we'll keep that open but we'll open up uh, users here so we could create a function called is underscore admin for example and we could pass through a user ID uh, escape well not escape this data but cast this to an integer because we know user ID should always be an integer and then we can return true or false whether the user is a, an admin or not. So I could say return MySQL result. And I'm going to run a query in here and I'm going to return account. Now, if all of this is equal to one, then I want to return true. Otherwise, I want to return false. And the reason being is I'm going to select the count based on the user's ID and whether their type is set to one. So I could say select count, oops, user ID from users where user ID is equal to user ID and type is equal to one. So one is specific to an admin, so is admin, if the user ID has the type one, so i.e. if these two match, this will return one, then we return true from the function. So now we can actually go ahead and we can incorporate this into our admin protect function. And we could say if is admin, um, we, could, we could do user data, user ID because we're pulling that in here and then we could say is this equal to true well if it is equal to true uh, sorry if it is equal to false then tell them to go away so let's just go ahead and, and test this out uh, let me just go and edit my record here set this to zero go so that's gone now. Uh, well, I've removed it, but 
so admin.php I now can no longer access. So this means that wherever we um, are on a page, we can just go ahead and say if is admin and we can pass through session user ID which is the um, user ID here from the session and if that is equal to true then we can echo admin or do something else so this makes it a lot easier if we ever need to go ahead and change these conditions um, in here so um, I'm not an admin at the moment but if I was then we'd get that little admin uh, message up there so that's basically how to um, allow you to well allow yourself to determine different levels of access on a site and we've looked at a standard user and an admin and there we go that's it you can play around with this and give users different rights create different access levels as well and create different functions that return um, you know something based on 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 whether a user is an admin or or something else